Okay. Hello, hello. Do you hear me? Yeah. Yes, the oh. cherry. Good night. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, David. Good night. No, that is after the class. At the beginning of the class is. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, oh. it's good evening at the beginning. When the class is done, you can say good night, guys. Good night, people. I leave, etc. Okay, how are you feeling? How are you feeling today? Today is Friday, Friday, Friday. Uh, we have class because of the suspension, you know. The indication was that we have class because on Monday it was canceled. Uh, okay. Hello, hello. How do you feel? How do you feel today? Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, Joanna. Welcome, welcome. How was your day? Good day, bad day. How was the traffic? Do you drive, guys? Do you drive? Do you drive a car? Who drives? Who drives in the class? Who drives? No one? No? You don't drive. Claudia, the microphone. The microphone activated to to speak okay no one drives hey come on come on get a car and enjoy the traffic it's san salvador's traffic or another part okay uh welcome guys the class number this is class number four. number four okay this is class number four let me share my monitor so we can start with the class. We can start with the content for today. Hey, you didn't respond. How do you feel? How are you? Uh -huh. Maybe a little bit tired, I guess. Okay, no problem. Um, we are going to develop the content in the class in this moment. Just let me find the option to share my screen. Ah, uh, it says Jocelyn Elizabeth says, hello, teacher. My connection is bad for the rain. Ah, okay, it's raining where you are. No problem, no problem. You can, you can be without the microphone, no problem. Okay, uh, do you see the screen? Yes. Ah, uh, Griselda Orellana, it says, Dia Cansado, how do you say it? Uh, guys, the, the question is, how do you say? Okay. Mm. If fue un día cansado, how do I say that? How do I say? Huh? I'm feeling tired. Uh, mm, I feel, I feel tired. Me siento cansado. Yes, that is, that is correct. Pero el día estuvo cansado in English. Or um, no? I uh -huh. have a day. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. I had in past. In pasado. In past. I had a tiring day. Ah, pero aquí dice yo tuve un día cansado. Pero como digo, mi día estuvo cansado. Uh -huh. No, no hay días. Okay. Subject. What is the subject? You, we, uh -huh. what do we talk about? De que hablamos? About me or about the day? My day. The day. And what is My the night. subject for the day? Uh -huh. Ideas? Nope. E come on, come on. Is it? It was. And then this. It was. Okay, can you read it? Can you read it, guys, to practice? It was. A tiring day. A, a tiring, tiring is the adjective. This is the adjective, tiring. Okay, it was a tiring day. Yeah, I know, I know. It is a tiring day and night, but don't worry. We have one hour, and in one hour, we go to sleep, we go to rest. Okay, let's go with the presentation. This is class number four. Okay, 
What do we have for today? I will pass this over because we know it already. Ya lo sabemos. And that too, I will pass it over. And the four things that we practice every day. Okay, let's see. Topic, what is the topic? Topic at the top. Health, health and space. Uh, can you repeat it? Let, let me listen to you. Uh -huh. Repeat it one more time. Health, space, space. Ah, do you see TH, TH word? Yeah. Zapato, Zapato from Spain, health. Health, health, health states. Health, health, state. health states, okay, we are going to talk about health states. Okay, for the first phase, what is the state of the first phase? What is the state? Happy. happy. Ah, okay. Happy. Happy is an adjective. Correct. Happy. And about the second one? Sad. Sad. Okay. He's sad. That's it. Okay. Very good. Uh, asking, can you read the, the sentence? Asking, can you read it? Asking, um, asking about asking someone's about health state. Okay. State. Asking about someone's <laughs> health state. For example, we have two options. The first option is... How do you feel today? How do you feel today? Or... How are you feeling? Are you feeling? How, are you feeling? How are you feeling today? Uh, Jocelyn Elizabeth. How are you feeling today, Jocelyn? Okay. How are you feeling, Jocelyn? Hello, 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 hello. Uh, Salma, Gabriela, how are you feeling today in this moment? How are you feeling? What is, what is your state? <laughs> Hi, teacher. Um, no. No. Uh -huh. no, teacher. <laughs> okay. No. For example, you have options in negative. You have two options in negative. You ha you have. Can you read it? I don't feel well. I don't happy? feel well. Or you have. I'm not feeling very good. Very good. Okay, you have two options for negative responses. But what about if you have affirmative responses about that? Okay, in this part, we have four options. Let's see. Uh, Celia, make a question for one of your classmates. Any of your classmates. You can choose one sentence, one, two, three, or four. Well, okay. How do you feel today? How do you feel today? And the question is for? For? Um, well, I feel okay. Feel I don't know. I mean, the question, oh. only the question. And the question is for which classmate? The question is for uh, Marvin, for Samuel. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Read the question, please, for a classmate. Jocelyn Alisa. Okay, now read the question. Ask, ask Jocelyn. La pregunta. Uh -huh. How Any do you for? feel today? Okay. Jocelyn, I how do you no feel? Good. I feel? Good. I feel very good. Good. Very good. Okay. That's it. Very good. That's it. Nice. Griselda, next question for one classmate. Yes. Um, Any of those four, okay. cualquiera. Okay. Are you okay? Are you okay? To whom? A quien? Who do you ask to? Um, to ver Claudia Maria Garcia. Claudia, are you okay, Claudia? Yes, okay. Uh, but, okay, select one of those responses. I feel excellent. 
Excellent. I feel excellent. Nice. Okay, let's see. Elena, question for one of your classmates, please. Uh, Jocelyn Elizabeth, do you feel good? Okay. I feel very good. I feel very good. Okay, that's it. Very good. Okay, next, next, next is a Francisco question. Peñate, Francisco. Okay. Uh, how do you feel today, teacher? Uh, I feel a little bit uh, sleepy. I feel, okay, the adjective is not here. It's not there. But this this one. What is sleepy? What is the adjective? Oh, okay. my eyes, my eyes are hard a little bit. Huh? Sueño. Sueño. Ah, a little Ay, bit, claro. but not much, not much. Okay, and that is an affirmative response. I feel okay, I feel a little bit sleepy, but not much. Okay, very good. Uh, Christian Isaac, I will ask you, uh, how are you feeling today? <laughs> Christian, Isaac, Hugo Cruz, maybe. How are you feeling today? I feel very good. I feel very good. Excellent. Okay. Those are uh, affirmative. What happens if you have negative, if you respond with negative adjectives? Okay. You can do it with negative adjectives. David Alberto, question for one of your classmates? I don't feel sad. Uh, no, the question, the question. Ask someone, okay. ask someone. How are you feeling, Vanessa? Vanessa, Hi. how are you feeling? Negative, negative responses with adjectives. Okay, Vanessa, your, your response? I don't feel sick. I don't feel mm, which one sick. Sorry, sick. I don't. Uh, feel. I don't feel sick. Okay, very good. We when you add when you add add don't that is negative. Okay, because you are using the auxiliary in negative. Very good. That's it. Uh, Vanessa Gabriela, question, question, question for one of your classmates. How do you feel today, Hugo Cruz? Hugo Cruz. I don't feel bad. Okay, I don't feel bad. Okay, or you delete, delete, don't. I feel, I feel bad. I feel bad. The next one is, I feel, can you read? Can you read it? Awful. Awful, repeat awful. Okay, awful. Next is terrible. And the last one is, I'm not feeling well now. Okay, very good. So when you have questions about how are you feeling, how do you feel, etc. Are you okay? You can respond with affirmative or negative sentences. Okay, let's continue. The next one is, what is the topic? What is the title? Have, have plus noun, feel, or adjective. Okay. In this part, the structure that we are going to see, they are two. We are going to uh, we, we are going to talk about nouns using this. The structure is subject, subject plus verb plus verb plus have plus a or an a and or those an. are articles. Plus, plus noun. noun. Okay, a hey, teacher, what is that? Okay, let's see some examples to understand better. 
First example, can you read the first example, please? I have a, a hair that... Uh, how do you pronounce that? How do you pronounce it? Headache. Headache. Can you headache. repeat it? Headache. Headache. I have. Mm -hmm. I have. I headache. A headache. Okay. A headache. What is what is the noun in the sentence? What is the noun? Headache. Okay. The noun is. Headache. Headache. Correct. Headache. Okay, sorry, I don't know what happened. Okay, the noun is a headache, correct? But with the article, a headache. Un cabeza. Ah, dolor de cabeza. Dolor de cabeza, okay. That is the noun, okay? Because we are using nouns in this moment. And the next one, next sentence. My sister. My sister has on her skin. Okay, what is the problem in in the sentence number two? What is the problem, or I mean the noun? What is the noun, or what is the problem? Irritation. Uh, but with the article, with the article, with including the article. Oh, an irritation. An irritation, okay? Because you say an, una. Irritation. An irritation, correct. And that is, that is the noun in the sentence. Okay, sentence number three. I have a health emergency. Uh, emergency. Okay, emergency, let's repeat. Emergency. emergency okay the the first the first word you had some problems okay let's check see headache repeat headache 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 headache, headache. 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 okay what about this one okay let's repeat emergency 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 Emergency, okay. Now complete. I, I have, have I have emergency. emergency. Okay, what is the problem in the sentence? What is the problem? Including including the article. Emergency. A health emergency. Una emergency. Una emergency de salud. De salud. Correct. Okay, very good. And finally, we have, read the sentence, please. Try to read, practice, practice your speaking, your pronunciation, and we can correct. I have, I have a back, mm, okay, let's check. Let's check the pronunciation. When you have issues with, uh, with a specific word, hey, you can use the tools. Let's see. Backache. 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 Repeat. Backache. 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 And what is backache? Oh. I have a backache in this moment. Okay. Backache. Complete. Okay. What is the problem in the sentence? What is the pro When I say what is the problem, I mean the noun. What is the noun in the sentence? A backache. A backache. Backache. Very good. Okay. When you are talking about nouns, when you are talking about nouns, you always have to use the verb. The verb have. Uh, the verb have. Okay. Uh, give me one one example. One example with this. Any subject you can use. I, my sister, my mother, my parents, etc. Example, example. My Uh huh. My. My tia. No se concrete. Ah, my aunt. My aunt. Is aunt or aunt? Pronunciation. Uh huh. 
Who knows? Quién sabe? Who knows? Okay, we normally say aunt. Yes or no? When we are learning English, aunt. we say aunt because that is a word that we see. Es la palabra que vemos. But this is uh, this is grammar and this is pronunciations. Check, check, check. Aunt. Ant. Ant. Can you try? Puede tratar. Ant. 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 Ah, okay. This is uh, a phonetic symbol uh, between A and E. En medio de A y E. Teacher, how is that? Ah, wow, it's like this. Ant. 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 Okay. It's not out. Okay, that is the difference. Okay, let's continue with the example. The example says, my... Uh -huh. My aunt, mi tía, uh -huh. what is the problem? Mention a problem. Uh, uh -huh. me ah, but remember, me duele. Uh, me, me duele. Mm, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Okay, remember, you can use any subject. Any subject, but the verb is always have. Yes? In this case, it has because the third person, my sister. But see, have, has, have, have. So, my aunt. My house. Has. 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 And now mention the problem. Mention the noun. Tiene una pierna rota, for example. Uh -huh. How do I say that in English? Has a broken. Has, correct. A broken. A broken. Part of the body. Yesterday we were leg. checking. Correct, leg. leg. Okay, very good. Okay, what is what is the problem in the sentence? What is the problem or what is uh, the noun? Broken leg. Has broken leg. Ah, okay. Ah, I forgot. Leg. I forgot the 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 article. Leg. Okay, now yes. So the problem is? A broken, a broken, leg. broken leg. leg. That is the noun. That is the noun, correct. Una. Mm -hmm. Pierna rota. Correct. Okay, another example. The last one, please. The last one. My cousin has a mustache. My cousin has a um, mount ash o dolor de de dientes no sé el dolor de mano mount ash ah, a tooth ah, tooth tooth, 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 tooth ah. ash like this yeah. ah are you sure that is the, the correct word are you sure completely 100% sure what do we do if you have doubts with Pronunciation, grammar. What do you, what do you do? What do we do? ¿Qué hacemos? What do we do? Uh -huh. Nothing. Hey, we use we use them. Yes. One. I have one tool. This one. This one. I have three tools. Okay. Let's see. Let's check if it's correct. Ah, it was correct then. Ah, okay. I double check. Reviso una o dos veces. Tooth, tooth. Pronunciation. Uh -huh. Who knows? Who knows how to pronounce it? Let's see. Toothache. Toothache. Two cakes. Two cakes. Mm, no. Two cakes. No. Toothache. Tooth. Toothache. 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 It's kind of difficult at the beginning. Repeat. Toothache. 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 Okay. Toothache. Very good. Okay, that's it. Okay, good examples. Good examples. Very good. So the problem is, in other words, huh? Speaking? A toothache. A toothache. A toothache. Very good. Okay, now let's see the, the other part. The other part of the topic. The other part of the topic is with... Adjective. Adjective. Okay, the first part 
was with nouns and this one is with adjectives. Um, what do we do for adjectives, uh, guys? What is the formula? Let's say the formula. Subject plus verb field plus adjective. Plus the adjective. Ah, if you check, do we use a have in this part? Do we use yeah. a have? Field. No, no, I mean, I ask you, do we use a have in this part? Question, it's, it's a question. It's a question. Do we use, do we use have in this part? Mm -hmm. No, we don't. No, we don't, correct, no. no. Correct, no, we don't, we don't use it. We use the verb feel. Mm. Okay, let's see examples. Um, the ones I will look for someone. Okay, Samuel Isaac, are you in class? Elizabeth Guerrero, maybe. Hello, hello. Hello. Uh, uh -huh. Hi. Be ready. Okay. Hey, be ready. Okay. The okay. first example is. Um, I I feel decide. Decide. Mm, okay, let's check. Ah, decide, decide. Uh -huh. mm, decide is this. Decide. What is decide? Uh -huh. To choose something, especially after thinking. Can no. That is decide. This one is. Uh huh. Dizzy. 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 Oh. Dizzy. What is dizzy? Dizzy. Mm -hmm. Feeling. Yeah. Feeling. Okay. Uh -huh. As is everything is turning around. Uh, wait, wait a moment. I feel in this moment, I feel dizzy. Maria. Dizzy. Yes, Maria, okay. correct. Okay. If you wanna if you wanna know how to give definitions, try this. Si quiere aprender cómo decir definiciones, si alguien le pregunta, hey, uh, give me a definition of dizzy. Ah, this is when you feel that the things spin or turn around you. Okay, definitions, they are useful. Okay. Okay. That is DC. Okay, next next sentence. Any of you guys? Any of you? He feels he, feel, he feels wrong. He feels bad. 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 He feels bad. bad. He bad. feels he feels bad. terrible in this moment. He feels terrible. Okay, next. I feel irritated. I feel irritated. 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 Okay, let's check pronunciation again. Okay, that's why I tell you, use the tools because they are useful. Irritated. 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 Okay, that is American. Irritated. What about uh, from the United irritated. Kingdom? Irritated. Ah, with the letter T. They emphasize the letter T. United, the people, people from England, letter T. Irritated. I feel irritated, they say. But in American? Irritated. Letter R. That is the difference, okay? And next one is? I feel sad. I feel sad. I feel sad. Hey, don't feel sad. Don't feel sad. Life is beautiful and nice. Okay, don't feel sad, yes. Okay, very good. What is the difference, guys, between noun and adjective? What is the difference? No, no difference. Ah, uh -huh, okay, one, one is the verb, yes. And this one with the noun is the verb. Ah. The verb have in with the ah. adjectives, the verb is? Is feel. Is feel. feel. Okay. In the platform, you will find exercises about this specifically. Okay. That's why in the class, uh, I have this topic for you. Okay. Questions? Questions? Uh, oh, the sentences. The sentences examples. Two. Two, please. Let's make two. Two sentences. It's okay. I feel happy. I feel happy. The song. 
like the song yes i know that is i feel good no it's that and okay he's not happy it's good okay mm -hmm. and in negative morning negative i feel don't happy i don't feel happy i is the, is the opposite okay subject I feel sad. I feel subject sad. auxiliary auxiliary negative then what is next Feel. Uh, and feel is uh -huh. a verb, correct? I don't feel. I don't feel. Happy. Uh, no, happy is, is there already. Tired. Tired. Okay, good. I don't feel tired. Tick. You are using affirmative or negative is the same because you are using the verb feel. Okay, good, good, good. No questions? Questions? No. No. Yes. No, no. teacher. No. Okay. If you don't have, great, great, great. Okay. Let's continue. Uh, in this part, we have oh, come on medications, medications. Okay. When when we are when we are sick. We are sick. Hmm? We can taste some communication. <laughs> uh -huh. Pronounce, pronounce this word. Uh -huh. Let me let me listen to it's you. It's funny. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh -huh. What do you do uh -huh. if you cannot pronounce? ¿Qué haces si no puedes pronunciar? Use a tool. Use a tool. Okay. Let's see. Medication. 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 Correct. Okay, we use we use that. We use that tool. Okay. Tell me some common some common medications that you have in your house. Do you have any common medication in your house that you take or drink? What do you excuse me? Acetaminophen. Ah, but complete. That is only the complement. Eso solo es el complement. Remember, subject. <laughs> subject, the verb, and the complement. What do you have in your house uh, for medication? I have in my house. Uh -huh. Teacher A in my house. Mm -hmm. Continue, continue. This is your opportunity to practice speaking. I house have I the subject I Joe. Mm -hmm. I have I have in I my have house acetaminophen. Ah, acetaminophen. Okay, it's, it's similar to Spanish. Acetaminophen is like acetaminophen, something like that in English. I am not a doctor. Okay, uh -huh. this is this is uh another term medicine term and they are kind of difficult okay as a friend what else guys in general open question what do you have in your house as a medication no nothing uh, which one qual uh, doctor no. Uh, no i mean medication as a friend is common medication uh, another common medication is this one. Alcohol. Aspirin. Okay, yes. or aspirin. What else? Alcohol. Al alcohol or alcohol. alcohol. In English. Ah, in English. Alcohol. Okay, very good. What else? Medication. Come on. I drops. Drugs. No drugs. <laughs> drugs Oops, <pardon. laughs> excuse me <laughs> okay can you repeat it can you ah alka seltzer okay but you said drugs no okay, those... ah drops i drops ah okay very good okay no, no. What... Mm -hmm. no puede tener en casa gotas para ojos ah really you can't. No, 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know. No sé. I don't know. I don't use them. I don't use them. No las uso. I en, don't use them. En un botiquín sí se podría tener en casa gotas para ojos. Ah, ok. And in English, how, ¿cómo se dice todo eso en English? Ice drops. Ah, ice. No, but the complete sentence. Todo lo que me acaba de decir. <laughs> oh, excuse ah, me. Ah, okay, no problem. Okay, try, try. Okay. You can try. Ah, in your house, you can't. In your house, okay, you can. No puede, you can't. You can have eye drops. As medic eye drops, as medications, okay? Okay, that is a sentence. Try to use, try to use the English you know. Try to use the English que ya, ya pueda. Okay, cool. And what else? What else is medication? What about this one? How do you say manzanilla? Uh, manzanilla, manzanilla. Chamomile. 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 Okay, yeah, the grammar is the grammar is chamomile, something like that. The grammar chamomile, but but the pronunciation is chamomile. Okay, okay, okay. great, chamomile. Uh, this one, what is this? That's uh, <laughs> the meaning of. Uh, okay, I need <coughs> for my for my. <coughs> Ah, Jarabe, the palo, the musical oh. group. No. No, <laughs> that's <laughs> not. Uh -huh. Is? Cough, repeat. Cough. 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 para. La tos. Correct. Cough syrup. Okay, that's a common medication in our houses. Uh, this one. Moscow cream. Um, Moscow. Um, no, we don't pronounce it like that, my friend. It's muscle. Repeat. Muscle. Muscle. Delete. Delete. Muscle. Letter C. Delete letter C. Borre la C y muscle. That's it. Muscle cream. cream. What is muscle cream? Crema. Crema para los músculos. Uh, for example, which ones do you have? Which one do you have in your para house? Uh -huh, but uh, which one? Copal. Copal. Metilo. Metilo. Ultra vengue. Ah, uh, ultra. Uh -huh. Ultra. Uh, Marihuana. Marihuana. Oh. Marihuana. Okay, Bill. that's. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay, that's another common medication. Okay. Uh, this one for for the stomach for stomach aches for stomach ache. Okay, very good. Okay, question. What is the question there? What? what do you drink when you are sick? Uh, when, when I am sick, I drink acetaminophen. Yes. When I have fever or something. And you, and you let's see, um, Joanna, what do you drink when you feel sick? I drink uh, acetaminophen. Ah, okay. In Francisco, when you are sick, uh, I drink acetaminophen or ibuprofen or viral grip. Ah, viral, viral grip in English. Viral. Okay, nice. Okay, good. Uh, let's see. And you, Marvin, Marroquin, what do you drink or take? See, you have another option. You can say, I drink or I take. Uh -huh. Two options, two verbs, drink or take. Okay, Claudia, Carla, and you? Elena, when you are sick, 
antibiotics. Antibiotics. Ah, antibiotics. Okay. I take pills acetaminophen. Okay, nice. Uh, what about no drinks about tea? No tea. Any tea, guys? In general, open question. Do you drink any yes. tea? Lemon. Lemon. Lemon, yes. lemon tea I yeah. drink. Okay, Chum. I drink lemon tea. Uh, which one? Chamomile. Chamomile. Uh, chamomile, chamomile. Chamomile. Mm -hmm. Chamomile tea. Chichipinza tea. Maybe for, for your stomach. No. It works. How it do you works. Ah, jengibre. Uh, that is uh, ginger. Ginger. Chamomile is chamo meal. I guess uh, double M. Let's check. Lemon Let's juice. Check. Lemon juice. Okay, lemon juice. Okay. Let's check it's about the grammar. Chamomile. Ah, okay, it was correct. Okay, chamomile. Pronunciation. Uh, this one is a word. Chamomile. Chamomile. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay, nice, excellent, very good. But go, go to the doctor. Don't, don't automedicate yourself. No se auto. <laughs> okay. Auto. Auto medication, no, it's not good. Okay, next topic. The next topic is imperative. Okay, what is and what is an imperative, guys? They are words to give orders, commands, or indication. Ah, okay, very good. They are words to give orders, commands, or indications. Okay, uh, let me see. Uh, Vanessa Gabriela, close your eyes, please. Close your eyes. I am giving you an indication or a comment. Vanessa, close your eyes. Yeah, really, really, close them. Close them. Vanessa Gabriela, close Others, them. Others, comments, or... Indication. Uh -huh. indication, yes, that's an indication. Close your eyes, please. Close them. Close your eyes. Hey, you are not listening the comment. Okay, it's a comment. Okay. Uh, Joanna, raise your hands to the camera. Raise. In Joanna indication. Yesenia. Indication, indication. yes. But, but do it, do it. Raise your hands to the camera, okay? Put them down. Okay, very good. Okay, a comment is, um, sometimes it can be an order, sometimes can be a comment or indication. For example, affirmative. Yes? Affirmative imperative. Imperative. The first one is, Review, review every day. Review. Every day. What is review? Ah, okay. Study. Review every day. Is that an order, comment, or indication? Review every day. What is that? Comment. A indication. comment or indication. Mm, it can be an indication, yes. And uh, the second one? A study, a, study. a lot to improve. A study, a lot. Okay. A study, repeat a study. A study. A, study. a lot a to lot. improve. What a is that? Order, uh, comment, or indication? Order. Order. Uh, no, it's not an comment. order. Common. Common. It can be a common or indication. Okay. Next. Listen to your parents. Listen to your parents. Hey, listen to your parents now in this moment. Listen to your parents in this, in this moment. Ah, that's an order. 
but it depends on the tone that you speak to the other person or the way in which you say the words. It is different, right? It's different. How you give a comment, an indication, or an order. Uh, next one. Okay. Hey guys, when you feel sick, take some common medication or some medicine. Order, common, or indication. It's indication. No. Or indication, yes. Order. Okay. No, order, no, because the tone, the tone gives you the the clue el tono le da la pista si es order or indication um this one the last one okay what about if i if i if i was your if i were your boss si yo fuera su boss jefe hey work efficiently all the week come on what is that that's an order correct Okay. Mm -hmm. And the affirmative imperatives, they begin with? Ver verbs. Verbs. At the beginning. At the beginning. Yeah, all of them are verbs. At the beginning, because they are affirmative imperatives. Imperative. Okay, what happens with, with this? Negative. With the negative. Okay, the first one. Don't work too hard. Don't work too hard. What is that? Order, common, or indication? Hey, don't work too hard for work your health. Indication. Indication, yes, indication. Uh, second. Don't drink too much. Uh, okay, students, hey, don't drink too much soda. It's bad. It's bad for you. Indication. 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 But look at my expression, my tone, my expression. It's an order. Ah, it's an order. Okay. It's an order. Okay. Next. Don't argue with your family. Don't argue. Argue. What is argue? Argue. Argue. Ta 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 ta. But you are fighting. Hmm? Um, like like discussing, yes, like discussing. Hey guys, please don't argue with your family. Okay, mm -hmm. love them. <laughs> okay, that is, is order, common or indication. Indication. Uh, indication. Indication. Yes. For advice, mm -hmm. consejo, right? Advice. And uh, this one. Don't waste. Don't waste your luck. What, is, what does it mean, box? Yeah, yes, sir. Box is? Money. Mm -hmm. It's money, box. That's uh, informal. This is informal English. People but, say, eh, I'm going to spend some box at the store. I'm going to spend some box for drinks, etc. But it's money. Okay. And this one is? Uh, Order, command, or indication. Indication. Mm, yeah, comment, comment too. Mm -hmm, comment. It's and um, finally, don't be, don't be pessimistic. Don't be pessimistic. No, I can't. I cannot pronounce this word. It's too difficult. <laughs> English is this. No, no, don't be pessimistic. Try. Practice, try, etc. Okay, and what is the difference? Uh, with this, with the negative imperatives. Auxiliary in negative. Mm -hmm. Auxiliary in negative at the beginning. At the beginning. Okay. Always, always, always at the beginning. Hey, don't, don't turn the computer. Don't turn the computer. Don't, don't turn off the camera. Speak, speak up, etc. Okay, those are imperatives. Those are imperatives like order, comments, or indications. Okay, what is next? Uh, what time is it? <clears throat> 10 minutes. No, 10 minutes. Okay, we have a reading activity. Let's see what is the indication. The indication for the reading activity. Let's read 
An article about that and technology tools to improve all ready skills. Okay. Uh, because because of the time, due to the time, I don't know. I don't I don't think that we can finish the lesson or this exercise. You can do it at home in your free time uh, when you can. Okay. Topic for this activity, reading. How do you feel? How do you feel? Uh, it has to do with this. It has to do with health states. Health states. Tiene que ver con health states. Okay. Uh, paragraph, paragraph, any, you can practice. This is the time for practicing your speaking and pronunciation. How oh, Alphonse can give, give us a lot of information, information states, but, but can they tell us how we're feeling with about a new a new uh, app application is uh, the short the short way okay. a new app that, that may be uh, able able to mm -hmm. do just that to do just that imagine your phone uh hey hello hello iphone in the morning hello iphone how do i feel today and the iphone tells you Louis, you don't feel okay. You should go out with your friends and enjoy the night. Imagine that an app tells you your health state. That would be nice. Okay. That is the reading. That is the reading. That is what the reading is about. Okay. Look at the girl. Look at the girl. She's using. What is, what is she using? Mm -hmm. oh. so, she's yeah, using her phone okay and he she's checking some maps for example okay let's see instructions instructions what is the instruction for this do the preparation text first to help you with the difficult vocabulary to enter it, the article and to exercise to check your Understand. Understanding. ING. Okay. And this one is plural. Exercises. Oh. Exercises. Exercises. Yes. Exercise with no S is singular. With S is plural. Okay. Uh, let's do the preparation. What is the preparation? Topic. How do I feel? Match the word with the definitions. Okay. We have... Uh, a definition and we have a word and we have to match them according with the definition and the word for example uh first definition let me see participant uh, ta, 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 ta. maybelline are you still in class maybelline yes you sure yes perfect perfect can you help me with the definition, with the reading, please? From there, from there. Hello, hello, Maybelline. Okay. Uh -huh. In English, in English, a mobile. A mobile phone which can do many things that a computer can do. Ah, okay, a mobile, guys, you can read it too, to practice, a mobile phone, which can do many things, huh? You can read that a computer can do. This is the definition. What is the word? The correct word for that definition we have. What is it? Which one? What is the correct word for the definition? Smartphone. Smartphone. Let's see. Ta -da. Um, okay, it has sense. It has sense. Okay, let's place it. Pongamos like. Let's place it there. Okay, nice. Uh, second, any of you, cualquiera, any of you can participate. I smile. I smile. 
special program term in often download to a mobile phone. Okay, thank you. It says, this. it says, a small specialized, uh, repeat, a specialized, specialized program that, program that is often, 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 no, the lead, the lead letter T, it says often, often, often downloaded, downloaded to a mobile phone. Um, okay, it says a small specialized program. What is the correct word for the definition? App. 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 Okay, app. Okay, I will place up there. Next. The temporary. Okay. The temporary state of how you are feeling. Okay, the temporary state of how you are feeling. Uh, what is that? Temporary mood. state. Which one? Mood. 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 How okay. is how is your mood in this moment? How is your mood? Mm -hmm. How is your mood? Is, is like, how do you feel? Positive. It's the same. Positive, my mood is great. I feel okay. It's the same. Uh, okay, I will place it. Uh, Elena, the next one. Ah, the shortest. La más corta, le propongo. The shortest. The study of sounds. The study of sound. Ministry of sounds. No, it's not music. <laughs> no. <laughs> I like electronic music, by the way. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, the, st acoustic? the study, the study of sounds. Okay. Acoustic. Acoustics. Acoustics. Acoustic. Okay. Very good. Uh, there. Okay. There. Next. Okay. Uh, microphone, Still. Still. microphone, please. Microphone, be careful with the microphone. Chief, executive <laughs> officer. <laughs> what is that? Seal. What is that? You. Ah, the for example, CEO. in corporations, in companies, right? Mm -hmm. The CEO. CEO. Uh -huh, the CEO. Ah, okay, good. Okay, next. Master of business Master of administration. Master, Master of puppets. I know it doesn't say that. Who knows the Master of puppets? Do you like metal music or rock? You? No? Any rocker in the class? Uh, yes. You. Uh, yes. Okay, Master of business, of business administration. administration. What is that? MBA. MBA by the the letters. Okay, good. Uh next uh, one minute, one minute to finish. Okay, let's repeat followed uh, followed. 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 Follow. Yeah. D, D, D at the end. Followed. Follow. Yeah, followed. Follow. No follow with. Follow with. Follow. Never, follow. never, never. Follow. Okay. Follow. Followed. Okay. Uh, follow. Definition. Word. Algorithm. Algorithm. Uh, algorithm. Algorithm. Repeat. Algorithm. 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 Okay. Very good. Uh, Okay, guys, yes. we don't have we don't have time anymore. You can. No podemos go... terminar, Excuse me. No podemos terminar. Okay, no problem. Sure, sure. Okay, uh, let's see the next one. Uh, this one. Following. Following. Following, Following. 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 is. Tweet. 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 Uh, okay. Tweet. 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 Okay, next. 
to post something. Yeah. Yeah. To post yeah. it. Ah, okay. So it's sí, sí. so yeah, and following when it happens with with following, what happens? No, the correct no, right? No, oh, this, is, aha, this is uh, the one that you said. Tweet mm -hmm. is for this definition, correct? Mm -hmm. aha. Yeah. But for following, only one word for a definition. Oh, that's mm -hmm. weird. But Tracking. what does it mean, following? Tracking. Tracking. Ah, okay, tracking. tracking. For example, when you when you buy when you buy something on Amazon or USPS in the US, you have a tracking number, and that is, that means following your 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 buy. Okay, good. And the last one to check time. Sometimes it's right. It's taking, taking information from hard time one place. Okay, it says to check that something is right by getting information from more than one place. And finally, the final word is cross reference. Cross reference. Cross -reference. Okay, let's place it. Okay, when you have these type of exercises, um, you it. can click on finish, click on finish, and let's see. Uh, total score, ah, excellent, nice. All of them are correct. 10 out of 10, very good. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, but you have more. You have this paragraph, you have about uh, these engineers about have natural curiosity, speech recognition, emotional life tracking. After reading, you have the checking understanding. See, you have more uh, that you can practice with. You can do that in your free time. Try to complete the, the exercise. It's pretty nice, by the way. Okay. All right, all right, so good. It's so okay, teacher. Thank okay, you, teacher. this this uh, this exercise is in the presentation, uh, in the link, see? This is a link. So you can have it when you download uh, the class, and no problem, you can do it later. Okay, guys, thank you for joining the fourth class. Thank you very much uh, for participating. I appreciate that. Uh, see you on Monday, Monday and Thursday next week, no Friday. Only today was a unique class. Have a nice weekend. Enjoy it. Enjoy the weekend and be happy. That's a common. Be happy. Enjoy the weekend. Listen to music. Listen to your favorite music. Go out. Watch a movie, series, etc. Bye-bye, guys. Have a nice night. Take good care. night. Good 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 night.